At that moment, when they ate the fruit, their eyes were opened, and they suddenly felt shame at their nakedness. They sewed fig leaves together to cover themselves. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, the man and his wife heard the Lord God walking about in the garden, so they hid from the Lord God among the trees. Then the Lord God called to the man, where are you? Where are you? It's a powerful question. It's only when I'm completely honest about who I am that God's power is completely unleashed into what I do. So what's it take to be honest about who I am? The first thing I see here is this, that I need to acknowledge where I am. I've got to acknowledge where I am. And you understand that's, that's more than just sitting in church. Okay, I'm talking about spiritually, where am I? God asked Adam, where are you? And the same question he asked the first man, I think he's asking all men and all of us today, where are you? Where are you? Don't forget, God didn't need to ask that question. You realize that? God didn't need to ask. God didn't need to ask where Adam was because he needed to know. It's not like Adam was so good at hide and seek, he found the one spot even God couldn't find, right? Like God didn't throw up his hands in the air. He's like, well, angels, I lost the man again. No, it's not what happened. God didn't ask Adam where he was because he needed to know. God asked Adam where he was because Adam needed to acknowledge it. And quite frankly, so do we. So where am I? What am I hiding from? What responsibility has God given me that I need to rise up and take hold of it in my life? Who in my life has God put me around that I need to rise up and take responsibility to lead and love and serve them as Christ has done for me? What's caused me to go running into the trees and hide from God? or hide from what God's called me to do, or who he's called me to be. God asked Adam, where are you? And he's asking me the same question today. He's asking you, where are you? The reality is, until I know and acknowledge where I am, I can never move forward to be where I'm supposed to be. That's just true regardless of faith or or not. That's true in everyday life. That I'll never get to where I need to go until I know and am honest about where I am today. I'll never forget the time. I was trying to get back home from Chicago after a ministry conference that we attended there. Four of us from the church I was serving at at the time attended this conference. Uh, I bought the plane tickets for, for two of us. A mother and daughter that were on the trip with us, they bought their own tickets. We all flew in through Chicago O'Hare. We rented a car. We attended the conference. It was amazing. On the day that we were leaving, uh, their flight, the mother and daughter, their flight was a couple hours ahead of ours. And so we dropped them off curbside at the airport. We We kind of took our time, got something to eat, saw some things, returned the rental, went back to the ticket counter to check in for our flight, and we heard the thing you don't ever want to hear when you're at an airport. They said, sir, I can't find your flight. I'm like, what do you mean you can't find my flight? Like, we leave in a couple of hours. To which they said, your your name is, is Manus, right? Now, God has gifted me with the spiritual gift of sarcasm. So it's hard not to use that in moments like this. I'm just saying. I was like, yes, it's Manus, the same way on the ID you're holding in your hand. So they said, okay, do do you have your ticket? I might have rolled my eyes when I handed them my ticket, but I handed them my ticket and they clickety-clacked away like they always do. And they said, oh, I found the problem. Okay, I found the problem. You're at the wrong airport. I was like, homie, say what? What? What do you mean at the wrong airport? They said, yeah, you're at Chicago O'Hare. Your flight's leaving from Chicago Midway. I was like, how is that possible? As if I had nothing to do with it. I booked the tickets, right? 
Apparently in my haste, my excitement for the great deal we were getting, I booked the cheapest flight into Chicago through O'Hare and the cheapest flight out of Chicago through Midway. Thankfully to the world's craziest and fastest cab driver, we made it to Midway just in time for our flight and we got home, but until I knew and acknowledged where I was, the wrong airport, I was never going to get to where I needed to go. And the same is true with our faith. It's only when I'm completely honest about who I am that God's power is completely unleashed into what I do. So what's it take to be honest with about who I am? I can keep hiding in the trees, or I can acknowledge where I am, and come out of hiding? This is a great question, by the way, not to ask one time, but to ask yourself often, if not every day. Where am I? God, with you, with my faith, where am I?